Richard Labrant, my best friend, my adventure partner, my godly leader, the love of my life. You're my biggest inspiration. You've led me closer to Jesus. You have made me a better person. You've amazed me with your heart for Jesus and your heart for me. From the first time that I met you at the Grove, I kept trying to trick myself into thinking that I didn't like you. I didn't believe that someone as godly and amazing as you would fall for a girl who had a three-year-old. I was just coming out of a horrible relationship, a relationship that I thought I would never escape from, a relationship that took everything out of me, made me feel unworthy, and I put in my head that nobody would accept me or like me since I had a kid. I never thought I would find somebody who not only cho would choose and love me, but also choose and love my daughter even more. Until I met you. You've made me feel beautiful. You've made me feel worthy. You've made Everly feel so loved. You've showed us a life that we never thought we would ever get to experience. A life with someone who prays for us daily, loves us endlessly, and makes us feel like the most beautiful girls in the world. You're our greatest treasure, and you're our hero. I love how goofy you are, no matter who is around. You never care what people think about you, even if you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Me, for that matter. I promise to always be your goofy sidekick. And more importantly, I promise to always be your girlfriend, even when we're old and wrinkly. I promise to always make sure the pantry is stacked with cinnamon toast crunch and maple brown sugar mini wheat. <laughs> I promise to always let you embarrass me in public. I promise to always go on adventures with you and act like kids for as long as we live. I promise to be your very best friend forever. I promise to always put Jesus first and help lead our family. I promise to love you unconditionally for as long as I live and always cherish you. Thank you for choosing this life with me, for choosing to be a dad at 20 years old and for loving us the way you do so perfectly. Thank you for saving me. Thank you. It's me, you, Everly, Jesus forever. I love you so much and I'm so excited to go through this amazing journey together as husband and wife. Wow. Golden looks all in that I can't stop crying. <laughs> okay. I got some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I got. <laughs> Savannah Rose Sudis. How awesome is our God and how faithful is He? That He would bring two people like me and you together. You will never under understand how badly I needed you, but God did, which is why He gave me you. When I first met you, I didn't know if I was ready or suit to be a dad. I remember thinking how crazy it would be for me to become a dad so soon at 20 years old to a three year old. But how awesome is our God that even though I might not have been the perfect man for the job, just a goofy kid at the time, but that God put us together and that you chose me not only to be your husband, but to be Everly's dad. You are the most amazing, strong, loving human I've ever met. And I promise to always love you for as long as I live. I can't wait to grow old with you. I promise to always be faithful to you, to kiss you and only you forever. I promise to always keep you warm when you're cold and to always get you starved before starting each and every day. I promise to... <laughs> I promise to always be the 19 year old boy you fell in love with and to never stop dating you. You are about to be my wife, but you'll never stop being my girlfriend. I promise to always respect you and to always, to always respect you in everything that you say. I promise to always protect you and to never leave your side, even when times get tough. I will fight for you and I will fight with you always. I promise to keep my relationship with Jesus Christ first and to always lead you and our future kids and Everly to him and his name above all other names. I promise to always be your best friend and to laugh at your jokes, even if they aren't that funny. And I promise to, <laughs> and I promise you <laughs> my word that everything I've said is true. And that when I say I do, I do. And I'm committed to you and only you forever. And I have some stuff for Everly too. Oh, <laughs> Everly Rose, I hope you know how big of a blessing you are and I've been to my life. You are such a beautiful little girl, and I promise to always be your daddy. I promise that I will never leave you, even if times get hard, and I will never leave you or your mommy, because I love you guys just so, so much. I promise to always protect you. I will protect you. 
physically, but almost even more importantly, I'll protect your innocent heart and keep you safe from any bad boys in the future. I promise to lead. I promise to lead you to Jesus. He is our Savior and our Rock. I promise to pray with you every night before bed and whenever you get little owies. I promise to always play with you, whether it's babies or Barbies. Count me in. I promise to always love you, little girl. And I promise that I'll always love your mommy. That I'll never hurt or be mean to her. I promise to one day give you a little brother or a little sister. And I promise to always speak life, encouragement, and love into your life. I promise to always support you, and I promise I will go to every single dance competition you ever had. <laughs> always, monkey. I love you. By the authority given to me by the state of California, and really by the higher authority of God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Cole, you may kiss your bride. Thank you.